Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode five of the Side Quest podcast. This is a podcast where a group of friends sit around and talk about the world of video games, live streaming, movies, TV shows, and any other thing of interest in the culture of nerd. And here is one of your hosts, Sasquatch Nugget. Hi, guys. Sasquatch Nugget here. You know the bringer of the weird, wacky news at the end of the episode? That's me. But and you guys can find me anywhere at Sasquatch Nugget on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. If you want to snap me those chats, get at me. Thanks. But that's all I got. Off to you, Pascal. Hey, what's up? I'm Pascal. You can find me under P42C4L on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, Unknown Project. And again, it is too complicated to spell it out right now, but maybe one day I get around then. Put it in the chat. I will. And I am Westman y 2 k You can call me Wes. You can find me on Twitter, Xbox Live, PlayStation, Facebook, Instagram, at Westman y 2 k I got that shit on lockdown. It's all the same everywhere. And tonight we have returning special guest, Mr. Sue Spider himself. And here I am, ready for my second guest star. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Shadowed Zach. It's not Sue Spider. It's Sue Spider everywhere else, though. Sometimes I stream, sometimes I don't, but I'm always down to talk nerd stuff. Nerd, nerd. All right. Spew it like a volcano. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, this is the time of the show in which we uh, kind of catch up with what we've been playing and watching during the last week or so. We have had uh, somebody was absent for a couple of weeks, so. Pascal, you want to start off? Tell us what you've been what you've been playing the last couple of weeks. Sure, sure. I mean, I I had like limited time to really play games. I had uh, my girlfriend's family over, so it was kind of limited. Obviously, I cannot just sit there and play all day. Um, but I've been playing. If I had time, I just started playing Shadow of War, the more Middle Earth, which actually is pretty fun so far. Can't wait to beat it, but it's going to take probably 60, 70 hours for how slower progress how much um, better than the first one um i played the first one and i kind of stopped getting in having interest in it after you go to like this third or second or third region uh i don't have that with this one and i literally i'm still in the prologue kind of and i played already six hours so it, it is a lot of fun like, and i don't know i think it's like for me at least you know three times better that makes sense just from my personal opinion I, I like it a lot more um movies i watch uh <laughs> god this fucking movie i try to start watching star wars and i can't man i just can't i can't watch the last Aww. jedi i i can't get i can't i, I don't know i tried and it just your I eyes broken your how'd, you, how'd you get your green card <laughs> Isn't that a question you have to watch? <laughs> Dude, I, I don't, I don't. I mean, I like the old ones, you know, and I like even Force Awakens. But this movie, it just has something that I don't want to keep on watching it. It's, I don't know. So I, you started it? Yeah, I started it, and you uh, know, how hard did you as get? Soon, well, as soon as uh, they were all mad at Poe, I was like, nah, that's stupid. So I'm you got to wait for the Poe off. I mean, the payoff. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's you know maybe I just have to drink something to watch it and I don't know <laughs> <laughs> definitely definitely a good time if drunk. Uh, All right, I have no room to talk. I haven't even watched it. Where's the exit button? Yeah, <laughs> ban this guy. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean that's what I've been doing. So um, what about you, Nugget? Well, I'm out. I hate to tell you, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> There's no yeah. way you were going to talk about No Man's Sky, that you played No Man's Sky last couple weeks ago. Uh, okay, well, I um, kind of wanted to add it later. Um, but yeah, I played, I think, three weeks ago on PC. I started playing it a little bit um, because I, I, I played it like months ago when the third update came out, um, Atlas Rising or something like that. Um, and I lo love it. Like, it, it's kind of... I still think it's amazing. Uh, a lot of people gave it a lot of shit, and, and I understand that because the marketing was just so off and it needed another year of a development time. But what people don't give them really credit for is 
with they could have just left it and you know bad PR, but they got the money. But they kept on working and bringing the content out they promised, and that's what they said. They kept on working and adding. I'm not talking about just like here's a new sword. They add. They they change the game. They add everything they promised with every update. They get closer to their final vision, and it, it's just remarkable. And the next update that comes out, calling next season pass. They they have no season pass. Everything is for free. <laughs> and that's another thing. Like we have three updates. One of them adds thirty hours of content, of story content, plus the other stuff that's in there. Just just randomly a full you know storyline with like you know everything that you can imagine uh, from a thirty hour story. Um, you know base building, space fighters, all this kind of stuff. Um, so. I don't know, to keep it short, we go back into the probably later about the update that's incoming. But yeah, I, I can't wait and I really need to play that more, even though I have, I think, combined over 100 hours or something on that game already and it just never gets boring. But now I can play it with my friends, hint, hint, since they're going <laughs> to buy it too. <laughs> no way. I'll play, I'll play it. I probably won't. I've, I've always wanted to play it. Uh, it was only on PS4 and I didn't want to play it on PCs. All right. Well, then Nugget. Well, Nugget hasn't done much. Um, as you guys know, I, I thought I would get into some other games, but I spent $10 on a season pass, and I'm getting to the damn level 30. So I think <laughs> last week I was at level 14. I'm sitting at 28 today. I may get my $10 worth out. Some things I won't. That's the only thing I played this week was PUBG. PUBG Marathon. Yesterday I played it for 13 hours straight. I'm sorry, Spider, that I missed you. Jesus. <laughs> That's all right, man. It was near the end of the night anyway. <laughs> it bummed me out. I could have had the spider in there. But uh, we, we wore it out this last hour ago. We were getting like four or five kills a match, so they, they were they were feeling pretty good earlier, the matches were. Um, mm -hmm. Movies. Uh, I started... Um, uh, spider, you recommended that. Uh, was it Isle of Dogs? Dog of Isles? I Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. I started it, and... I got about 30 minutes into it. I really enjoyed what I've seen so far. And I had to stop it because I it was enjoying it so much I wanted um, Gamer Chick to watch it with me. So Excellent. Yeah. That's good to hear. And that did come out uh, today, actually, on the Blu-ray physical copies. Nice. Yeah. So it was... Uh, I, en I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, yeah. thir I don't think I... Man, if I did watch another movie, I've already forgotten. My my brain is other places today, so I don't think I did. I don't think I watched anything else this week, and I didn't play anything else because, like I said, I'm going to get my $10 worth from PUBG before the next three days is out. I vow to help you with that. You have my sword. <laughs> awesome. Not my axe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's all I got, man. I, I think that's all I did this week. So I can't really talk much about PUBG. PUBG's PUBG. We can fix... We can add another car, but we can't fix our servers. We can't, so... Yeah. I think another, there's another truck coming to uh, Sanach, or Sanuch, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, it's a pickup truck. So... And another gun, I believe, is coming out, too. So that's about it. That's that's the only thing I've I got for us, guys, that I did. I was boring this week. I apologize. Who's going? My turn? Sure. All right. Uh, played some PUBG, all with Sasquatch. I have to say I really like that game in duos, and I absolutely hate it in squads. Um, I've come to that conclusion. Um, played a decent amount of Overwatch, just plugging away at some quick play. Uh, I will say with the recent update, they took half the fun out of it for me. I used to like to play a game called Are They Gold or Silver? Where if someone decided to talk some mad shit in the game, I would say, are they gold or silver? And nine times out of ten, they were gold or silver ranked um, because they just have bad attitudes and it made me feel better about them. Um, but they made profiles private now, so you can't look that stuff up. Uh, that really they, they hate people playing gold or silver. They you know, yeah. playing I assume there was some, you know, people would get on there and see that they main only one character and then just give them a whole bunch of hell for not actually playing the game. But uh, what do I so, know? So with me being not a big Overwatch player, I know I played some with you, but I don't know. Like, 
deep detail into it. Uh -huh. Are there more ranks above gold? I'm assuming like platinum, uh, diamond or something. Yeah, it's uh, gold, platinum, diamond, master, grandmaster, and then uh, there's the top 100. Goes all the way up to there. Starts so at bronze. It's the dudes like me talking shit. Uh, I, I, I would fall in yeah. bronze. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's the thing. Bronze usually don't talk shit. Everyone in bronze knows they suck and can't get out of it. But the gold and the silvers are the people who sit there and, oh, I know everything about this game. I'm the best. It's my, or it's everyone else's fault that I'm stuck, not my own. And I find that to be pretty frustrating. Um, Sounds playing... like the League of Legends community. Oh, <laughs> super toxic. One hundred percent. It mirrors that entirely. Uh, my roommate was telling me he plays a bunch of ranked. He actually started getting some major responses for reporting people with bad attitudes. He logged in the other day and had four messages from Blizzard about people getting at least uh, chat banned. So, hmm. yep. I think, I think that's it, cool. Yeah, I think it is for sure. Um, let's see here. No other games, just PUBG. And, uh, I played a little Heroes of the Storm, if anyone is familiar with that Blizzard's version of League of Legends. Um, I don't know. I always have a good time with that. It's fast paced and all the maps are different, which gives it a leg up over league for me. Uh, I did go and see, uh, Incredibles two over nice. the weekend. That was a fantastic movie. Have you guys seen it yet? I have nope. not. Nope. Oh man. You're in for a treat. If you do, if you like the first one, it's a great movie. Um, the Pixar short before the movie was really weird i feel like all of them are always really weird this one made me uncomfortable i wish i wouldn't have seen it i would have preferred to be late to the movie actually really interesting yeah it was weird i don't want to ruin it i feel like everyone should just see it on their own come up with their own opinions um it was just odd so it's definitely not the the lamp squishing the logo anymore oh, oh yeah that thing still comes out but then they do just like a short like five minute video or short film that they decided to make and mm. this one was kind of like political uh, no it wasn't political at all it was family based which was kind of cool and it was in canada because the dad was wearing a canadian sweatshirt uh let's see anything else no isle of dogs we talked about that coming out this week i don't think i have Anything else that I've done? Oh, Wes, you guys are losers. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> honestly, I don't have shit either. I played a little bit of NCAA football, um, fourteen, old ass game. Love it. Still, it's still magical, even though it pisses me off to no end. I played a little bit more Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and I. <sighs> what did I play? Well, I watched you play some Syndicate. I will say the executions in that game are insanely brutal. Like you just yes. don't care. You shoot those people right in their faces. Mm -hmm. Get down on your hands and knees and pow. Um, yeah, yeah. I was taken aback. Then um, I also played. I played something else. And I can't think of what it was now. Oh. Fortnite. Fortnite. I did play some Fortnite. Uh, I've been plugging away at season five. I'm only like level twenty, which kind of sucks. Got to get eighty more to go. Um, did you get your thing for free? Did you make enough coin? Yeah. Oh, I sure did. I, I got the the season pass. See, they give you like a hundred V bucks every so many levels you get. V bucks is like their in game currency, and the season pass is nine hundred and fifty V. But yeah, baby. 950 V bucks. Um, I think it's what it's called. Anyway, it's <laughs> it's like nine dollars and fifty cents, um, and that's how much the season pass cost. And through just playing the last season, I had enough to purchase the next season without paying any money for it. It's because I didn't spend any money really in the store to buy you know dances and stuff like that because I'm unlocking plenty of them from the season pass. So. Um, I, I will say that it's interesting. There had been rumors that they were coming out with a new map. Um, they didn't come out with a new map yet, but the changes in the maps between the seasons that I've played on so far have been pretty drastic. And the, and the maps change during the season as well. They kind of evolve. Um, they've got a storyline that they're, they, they kind of loosely, um, 
produce this the storyline based on different themes and this one's like time travel and so different shit from different eras of of history are showing up on the map and like i'd say a good six of the map was completely changed differently it's turned into a desert like a mesa biome big ass mesa shit sand and western we call it we call it westworld um and so that's different um they've added uh like little rifts in time that you'll find around the map and if you jump into them it'll basically shoot you out of a big ass hole in the sky it basically lets you reposition really quickly it lets you jump uh it's kind of like jumping out of the plane again but not quite as far up that's cool so, yeah it is really cool especially um you know when you start strategically using get different places on the map quickly um so far i really like it um and that's i didn't watch anything is it a is it a the same spot like if you know that that rift is there is it always I so. there i think so and is it always the same place it dumps you out yeah it, well it you dumps you that. out in the sky so you can kind of choose where to land oh, okay. but um gotcha. sure if it's the same spot in the sky i would imagine it is but yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're they're static. Now they will probably change. They may add more of them. They may take them take them away as the season goes on because they they're constantly evolving the map uh, about the season. It doesn't stay the same. So, but so I think far, I found cool. my way to win. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in it and then fly back into it over and over again <laughs> until it's down to me and the other dude. Except that they'll shoot you out of the air. Oh, um, yeah. oh, and I won one. I finally won a, a single, a solo um, Fortnite all by myself, guys. <laughs> yeah, I did it. You um, can do it. That's right. <laughs> and um, that was so fun. Easy. A West man can do it. But you know what? It, we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> they, they really do love that game all of a sudden, and it's kind of funny. Um, but uh, not me, dude. It's a quality game. It's still it's still not my, you know, I don't like the colorful. It's very plants versus zombies just with its colors, you know. It's mm -hmm. but it's it looks good. It's pretty. I don't like the cartoony stuff, but it's fun and it plays well. So it's it's PUBG for me just because PUBG takes too damn long and this is easier for me to stream. Yeah. But that's it for me. Um I didn't really watch anything. I'm still missing something that I played. I know I. <laughs> so we've got uh, a couple news stories to hit y'all with today, since it's a it's a pretty light day for getting around the horn on on things that we things that we did last week. Pascal, you want to lead us off? Give us some news. Um, sure. Let's start with Nintendo. Um, one of their it's called like a squid shooter. It's basically a family-based shooter with like squids and stuff. It's actually, it was pretty successful. And they brought a, a second one called Splatoon 2 out um, of that franchise. Um, now, it sounds all like fun and it gets pretty competitive, actually. The bad thing about it, though, is they do not have any, any sort of anti-sheet. <laughs> Nothing, like there's no prevention of hackers. And to show how bad it is, there was one hacker who edited the power ranking, basically, like the, you know, the better you do and stuff, the, the higher you get a, the leaderboard, yes. So he hacked that, uh, his accounts, he made several accounts, and so basically, if for you all not watching or reading up on it, the number one player's name is Please. The second player in the leaderboard is Ed. The third one is Anti. And the fourth one is Sheet. So altogether, it means Please Ed Anti Sheet. Now, Nintendo <laughs> reacted on it and banned the player itself with all his accounts and um, did not leave any statements of comments. But what this hacker wanted to do is like, hey, I love the franchise, I love the game, but at this time of day, uh, day or this year, 2018, we shouldn't have a competitive shooter on the Switch or of any Nintendo platform without anti-sheet, you know, because it's very easy to hack it. And I don't know if any of you all owned like a Nintendo DS or even, you know, like a 3DS or, or a Switch, but their Nintendo's like platforms are always really easy to hack. You can just buy like I remember for the 
2DS or for the DS, you could buy like hacked like ROM cards with a micro SD card in it. You can download every game hacked and stuff. So it's very easy. And Nintendo is so what they did, they banned the player and took the uh, removed the leaderboard. But you know, I think another one can just do the same thing again until they fix it. I was gonna say, are they gonna add anti cheat now? No, no comment has been made by Nintendo other than the statement the user has now been banned and we reset the leaderboard. So that guy basically fell on fell on his own sword to say, hey, make the game better, get these cheating hacks out of here. Right. And, and he and just he, got banned and for it. And... He, he said, quote, my purpose was to call attention to the current issue that plagues the game, and I've done that. But my message is, please make protecting your players the top priority. So he basically said, you're welcome to ban me my console i don't care but you need to make the players your top priority and nintendo i mean they i don't know they're a little bit behind on customer satisfaction if it's about that like what the people need and want they don't want to adapt really i'm curious how prevalent hacking is to begin with in the game for it to be that big of a deal i don't know anyone personally who plays the game at least no one that i regularly talk to yeah, but, you know, I mean, it, it seems to me pretty obvious that it's pretty simple to hack since, you know, the leaderboard is so high up. Now, you know, I don't know if he just hacked the leaderboard itself, but he said it's, you know, riddled with hackers. And so, I mean, they have no anti-sheet and, you know, it might be a little bit more complicated, but the fact is it's there. And, I mean, even nowadays on PC, I mean, PC, there's just so many hackers, but at least companies try to bring out their own, like, anti-sheet or, you know, private servers have their own, like, better anti-sheet programs. So for a company like Nintendo, who charges, by the way, now um, for online, or they start, they're going to charge now for online play, um, that's kind of unacceptable <laughs> that you buy a game and you, you know, you kind of want to be playing it really competitively because each has their own like preference i guess of platform or game and you you can't really because it's full of hackers i mean nugget you see it when you play PUBG and there's hackers it's just no fun so you know that's doesn't know. Uh, PUBG use an anti-cheat though they have like that right, but, ally. but you know that kind of is more i th i don't know if it does it detect during the game or is it after the game yeah, that I don't know. I couldn't. Answer I think it that. detects before, so you try to boot your game up, and if it detects any variance in your uh, your files, it flags it and won't let you get on. Gotcha. That's how it's supposed to work. But obviously, there are some loopholes or gray areas, I guess, that people still can do it. I think it's oh just yeah. How, how fast they learn to to beat the system. I mean, right. I, but and, and I had know, a dude just like three days ago drive all the way across the map because he could see me through the world all the way up to the building I was in, stopped his car. Yeah, he drove straight to me, stopped his car, pulled a grenade out, and threw it in the window of the building I was in. Oh, wow. But you see, I, I witnessed that on my kill cam. I, I wished I would have saved it, but I forget to do things like that. I, I that. wouldn't. I wouldn't have an issue with the hackers like on PC. I mean, it is what it is. PC will always have those hacks or hackers. Like it, it's just hard to prevent, right? I mean, there will be some. He will get banned eventually, whatever. But on a console, which should be a closed platform, I mean, 360 now has a lot of hackers in it because the console is no longer really supported. Like the platform itself, they stopped updating it, so it's very easy to hack now. Um, but Xbox One and PS4, it's I see a lot of people saying hacker, hacker. I yet have to see a legit hack on console. I let yet have to see it. The only time I've seen a hack that was playing Sea of Thieves and the person that was hacking was on PC because Sea of Thieves is uh, shared with the PC user base from Windows 10. So there's no option to turn off crossplay. It's automatically crossplay. So unless the, if it's a, the closed system like Xbox Live or PlayStation Network, the games itself, I yet have to encounter a hacker. So, and I rage so many times, but I look at a lot of things. They, okay, I mean, they use glitches, I guess, but hacks, it's not. So Nintendo should be the same thing, right? Since it's a closed platform in that matter, but they just don't care. So, I don't know. I want to go back about 400 seconds and see, uh, and, and touch on, um, you said they were going to start charging for your online play? Yes, I, I, th I think they already. I think they already am. 
Spider, what do you think about that? It rolls out. I think it rolls out soon. I didn't know it had already come up, yeah. but I haven't messed with my Switch very much. Because um, you were excited to have the Switch for playing with your friends, right? Yeah, and I'm now... perfectly fine with it because if I remember correctly, it's less expensive than Xbox Live Gold is. And it gives you access to a pretty extensive library of old Nintendo games. Do you get Mario 3? I don't know the answer to that. It's a buy for West. But do. I think it's going to be taking over the virtual console kind of sort of thing is what I read or what I gathered from what I read about it. Okay, so that's not too bad. Because I knew when you, first, when you start talking about it, because you almost talked me into buying a nice. A controller is flying across nice. the screen. Nintendo controller. Oh, the mini. But I, uh, I, I, I know that. you were excited to play with your friends on there. And like I said, I almost went out because you played a couple of games. I think Bayonetta was Bayonetta. Too, or whatever I watched. And I was like super excited. I was like, man, I might go get this. But I never did. But to have to pay for another membership now, I don't know. Well, I would get it just for Pokemon if they bring out a Pokemon game for that one. <laughs> we I know pull it you up. like to poke your mom, man. Dang. So <laughs> you can do a family plan for up to seven other people for thirty four ninety nine a year, or an individual membership is twenty dollars a year. That's not bad. Oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. It's bad. not it's not bad. It gives you online play for some Nintendo exclusives. Um. 20 NES games come with it. You get cloud backup, um, an online app for your phone uh, that does something with compatible games. I'm not entirely sure. And then they say they're going to be adding special offers and stuff. I assume sales. Um, hmm. Yeah, and you so, get Super yeah, Mario so Brothers 3. Seven dudes, though, or or chicks. Though. I don't want to, like, I'm, you know, like <laughs> dudes, a Battlefield 5 in this shit. But, you know, if you, you got, if you knew seven people, you could split that seven ways and that's what five bucks a person for a year yeah. wow that's not bad no everybody plays Nintendo anyway i dude i watched some of those games he played i was kidding I, I was walking by the case at work <laughs> man. I'm like, spider about to explode after i said that <laughs> <laughs> i'm like all right credit card day say 15 percent. my team member discount 10 percent. it's on sale 90 dollars off now oh, see i've had I've had a lot of the Nintendo consoles. I've had the NES. I never had a Super NES. I had a Nintendo 64. I had a GameCube. Um, got a Wii. Did you get the Wii U? My son has the Wii U. Um, okay. I haven't really played it much, but I don't think it's a bad console. I just think they stopped supporting it. Um, yeah, they stopped supporting it fast, yeah. too. I yeah, felt like, like Mario Maker is an amazing game. Um, it's got Legend of Zelda on there. But the Switch is one. Oh, look at there. Ooh. Why do you have that? Oh, it may have been clearance for like $3 at work and on eBay for 30 right now. <laughs> but I bought it over like a year and a half ago. I was going to say, I, I, know, I know a curly blonde haired <laughs> kid that would probably love that. Um, Dude, you can have one. I got three of them. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really cheap. We've got a bunch of them where I work too. And they're not that particular pack, but they get the individuals in there. So cheap um yeah. but the the switch is one it's a console that i had no interest in initially but everything i've seen and heard about it is it's really good console and i've actually thought about trying to get one one day. i i think you should look into it i mean at the very least it makes portable gaming doable like it it's a for me, it acts like a Game Boy for a grown-up because I have a problem with the DSs and everything. My hands are too big for them, and they cramp up real quick using that small device. But with the Switch, it actually feels really good to have the... Uh, uh, they're not called nunchucks. The Joy-Cons plugged into it and holding it. It reminds me a lot of a Sega Game Gear, actually, now that I think mm. about it. You said Game Boy for a grown-up. And yep. when I was little, I actually I had the original Nintendo. Black and white. Me too. No, it was black and green. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. He rubbed all the green off his. <laughs> Mario baseball, man. <laughs> anyway. All right, what else we got? Um, Fortnite had a summer 
skirmish event um just really quick and that was just like the first level event for you know teams to like be competitive like a competitive thing not the best of the best but you know kind of like the competitive scene kind of esportsy yes and there was a six thousand dollar prize for the team with the most kills and um yeah so what they didn't think about is that all their servers were crapped like they were literally down to nothing like i watched it there's the videos attached to it but it was so laggy like you see people like rubber banding you know like teleporting back and forth and it ended up that people build just fortresses and duos and um because everybody was in the middle circle kind of like in the end and just hiding and afraid to go out to get killed because it's the most kills i guess and there's lag it just made it even worse there's two problems uh, I was going to say, so is this just open to the public and everyone from the oh. servers, or was it a lane event? No, it was, a, it, was a, it was a it was a no, it was a tournament. How it was it, looks like. it was if it's the same one that I'm thinking of. Epic was holding an invite only tournament this past yeah. weekend. Um, the teams were invited to to partake, okay. but see the the prize money was a lot larger than what I thought. So either way, uh, the, there's two problems with this. Number one was the structure of the tournament. It wasn't how many wins. It wasn't, um, you know, a, a point-driven thing or a tournament tree-type structure. It was how many kills, I think, uh, you had in duos yeah, over so yeah, many that's, games. That's, that's so correct. that right there already um, kind of changes the way you play the game and kind of encourages some of the camping. And also... When they had that event a couple months ago at the stadium in, I think, it was Seattle, they had this huge esports event. Well, that was all LAN. This was all done on their regular servers. The same weekend that Season 5 launched. So they were just that completely sounds like a bit of an oversight. Exactly. So. But I wasn't did invited, they hire, so... Did they hire Blue Hole in there? Is that who they <laughs> Probably. Hired? They, were try, they were trying to see what it was like to be PUBG. Yeah, like oh, let's let's add lag and see how they do. Like, let's see what happens if we suck for a weekend. All right, what else we got, Pasco? I joke, I joke, I keed, I um, keed. <laughs> uh, we, two uh... of the Infinity Square. <laughs> <No. laughs> William, nerds. William. Um, we have. Uh, oh yeah, there was a. If anybody played the Uncharted game series, um, which I think was pretty fun to watch too. Uh, there was a little short movie with Nathan Fillion, I guess is Fillion? How are you Fillion. Fillion. Yeah, Fillion. Fillion, yeah. Um, the guy from Firefly, like, um, and they made a little 16-minute short movie without Sony's approval, without the, the Naughty Dog's approval, kind of, you know, because Sony hints, hint, is hinting that they're going to do an Uncharted movie, but they, like, cancel it, then they reopen it and cancel, blah, blah, blah. So, but this little short movie was really, really interesting. It's like 15 minutes. You can just watch it, you know, um, online, YouTube, Uncharted short movie. Really mm. fun. It, it captures the, the humor of... Um, of uh drake the main character in the game and honestly what i think they might do with this or why he did it i remember nobody wanted to do a deadpool movie until ryan reynolds did like a little cameo thing like a little own project of it so i think that's what nathan fillion is going for right now like here this is how it works to see i can't play drake and uh, nathan drake so it, i don't know i think uh I think that will might maybe show Sony like, hey, there's interest in this movie, and you know, depending on how well it does, I think it already has like a million views or something. Um, they might consider it same way they um, what was it Fox? I guess did um, Deadpool? Was it Fox or Universal? I don't know. Just is that how he is that how he got concept. that job? What is that how Ryan Reynolds got that job? Yeah, I mean, I mean, nobody wanted to do that, and um, he just literally did like a little cameo, and then without their everybody's approval and um you know a lot of people were like going crazy about it and then they started okay well let's do that movie and they actually used that scene you can google that they used that scene i think he leaked it or something because they weren't sure if they're going to bring it out and then he just leaked it to the public but he didn't 
you know, now he just laughs about it or grins about it, but officially he didn't, but it got leaked and everybody was like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever, you know, and the studio's like, oh shit, they would actually watch this and then boom, now we have Deadpool, right? So I think that was kind of like the same approach Philly wanted to like kind of show that there's so much interest in an Uncharted movie and, you know, if done right, so uh, we might probably going to see something in the future, I'm pretty sure. Well, good for him. I've not played any of the games, but if it's if somebody would make a movie of games that I like, and obviously they have, like Assassin's Creed, I say go go out there and do it. Bring more attention to it. I you know I enjoy stuff. It was uploaded yesterday, and it has got one million nine hundred twelve thousand four hundred views so far. Jesus! Oh shit! So he hasn't even hit anything on side quest yet. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> rapidly approaching but no yeah um cool. yeah i watched a couple minutes of it um it's 15 minutes long um from what i watched i laughed i i noted that it was high quality did you cry no wow <laughs> <laughs> but no it, it looks good i'm gonna go I'll, I'll definitely watch the whole thing um it, it Sad because at first I thought it was like the. So you no quality. Cry. It looks, it looks like it could be, but it's obviously uh, says fan film. So, but I mean, I could see the guy playing Nathan Drake. Absolutely. I mean, you guys, ever played the games? I've watched my kid play them. I've wanted to play them. I just haven't gotten around to it. So, new age Indiana <laughs> Jones. I love it. Good game franchise. What else we got? Bring on the news. We're, we, uh, yep. Um, microtransactions have finally been removed from Shadow of War as they uh, promised it. Um, now, I don't know about Xbox and PlayStation 4 yet, um, but so basically a lot of people were complaining. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but there were like a lot of loot boxes in a single player game. And, you know, there's so many people raging about that and they kind of nerfed and tweaked here and there, but now they're completely gone. Like I saw screenshots completely gone. They added end game content. They added so much more to do race, like level caps and all this kind of stuff to make up for it. And everything that you purchased is now normally available in your garrison or something that you later get. I'm not even at that point yet where I have even access to that, but and when I booted the game up yesterday, or no, actually earlier today, um, it was still there. So I think I don't just I just have the patch yet. But yeah, I think it's definitely a sign of things to come with like randomized purchasable um, cosmetic items or, you know, pay to win kind of items that, you know, since that whole Battlefront disaster, they do like the Overwatch route. I, I have thoughts. So. I have questions. <laughs> well, let me, let, let me, let me, I, uh, you guys fight it out. <laughs> oh, no, I was just, I was wondering what all did the microtransactions do in the beginning? Like, was it a, you paid real money for things that made the game easier or made your character better? Uh, more like uh, experience boost and, um, and the, uh, the game itself was set up in the beginning um, that it was really grindy. Like you had to, you know, level up so many times and it was kind of rare to get like good equipment because you had to play so much to advance in the story right and now they obviously before even that they nerfed that that it's easier to level up and you don't have to buy anything kind of what the origins they had they had special orcs that you could buy to command your armies they were only available through purchasing real money or boxes or whatever couldn't unlock them in the game these same orcs, they, they have a um, like this whole undertone of a of your army waging wars against the armies of Mordor, and okay. um, while you're offline, um, somehow this the structure continues. Like your army, people can fight your army, quote unquote, your army off while you're offline, and you can lose people. You could lose these orc generals or whatever that you paid real money for while you weren't even online playing the game and that was the only way you could get them and you'd lose them permanently you'd have to go back in and buy them wow yeah this was a this was as bad over and over and over 
this was as bad, if not worse, than what happened with Star Wars Battlefront. It oh, came yeah. out right before Battlefront, and people hit the fan. And then when Battlefront came out, it just continued, and all the eyes shifted over to Battlefront. And Warner Brothers was sitting there going, "Oh, thank you, Star Wars." Because, but you know, but you know what? Really quick, I had to interrupt you. But what a lot of people forget is that. You know, everybody talks about, you, know, you talk about Battlefront and then about Mortar, right? Uh, what about EA and Madden and FIFA with Ultimate Team? You literally get blue boxes in card packs to get the Ultimate Player with a chance. I think a guy spent like $3,000 once and he got like one good card um, out of it. It's such a gambling thing. And, or you buy I'll coins. You on that. That's it, a, that, you, it's yeah, a card collecting game. You know you're game buying. Comes it's, out every year. You don't know what you get. The only it, way it, you get you it is when you get. You don't know what you get. It's, it's a card collecting game that you know you're going to be opening packs of cards. And so they, the reason that it's so popular is because you get that release of endorphins or whatever when you get a good card because you but know you, make it you is better. gambling. They make you better because they have better sets. Like yeah. a freaking Messi has a better but, thing than, you know, but Pascal. That's, from but the you block. play an ultimate team versus ultimate team. This isn't a single player game. Right. That's, what, that's what was different. Better or worse. I'm just saying the, the loot box thing has been there for a long time. And people now just kind of, what you just said, flip the stuff with um, Star Wars. And, you know, like I said, I don't mind as long as, you know, that they're like Dragon Age Inquisition had it too with like the multiplayer part, I guess. But for single players like Origins, they had that. Um, not, I don't, yeah, they had loot boxes, but I never had the need to do it. Like all the cosmetics I had, I unlocked through gameplay. And if, you know, like that's the thing, like I don't mind it as long as it's cosmetic, but in to defend your point, yeah, I mean, that was bullshit. I think there was also something with like a safe slot, like to get like additional slot or something, you had to buy something. I don't, there was some weird thing. Um, I just it, think it's going to be, uh, you're so excited, and I'm just waiting for them to just battlefront you and give you the fucking middle finger. Oh, I'm not buying the next battlefront, for sure. I'm not believing that hype anymore. Here's my thing, is that everybody's patting Warner Brothers or whoever, <laughs> developer, who's the developer of? Or, I don't know. I, I have no um, idea. Everybody's patting them on the back, like, yeah, you know. First of all, everybody's like, we won. They took them out completely. All right, they did, and yay, Warner they Brothers or whoever, them, right? they took it out. You know, they, 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 we won. We sent a message, and they listened, and they took it out. Who the fuck is still playing Shadow of War? Pascal. I just bought well, yeah, it. You just it bought scale. it. <laughs> right, right. And I've got I, I actually picked up the hard copy uh like two weeks ago when my wife bought a, a Nintendo Mini because they had a deal where if you bought three used things, you got one of them free. Um I haven't played it yet, but my thing is I didn't buy that game because of that shit. And I'll play it now, but they're not doing anybody some big service by taking this shit out after the hype for the game has died down and nobody's playing it anymore. You know, yep. Now their money's already made. Yeah, it's not like they took yeah. it out two weeks after the backlash. No, it took it's like a year. Like they're trying to reinvigorate oh, okay. sales now that they've taken it out and they quit mm -hmm. making exactly. money off of the microtransactions. Exactly. Now they they have added, like he was saying, a lot of uh, features, um, kind of make up for the things that you could buy and that you can unlock, and looks like a pretty good deal. And apparently, they addressed the in game that was apparently so freaking grindy that basically people weren't able to finish the game because it was either buy shit or just don't finish because it'll take you like eight after you beat but, the main quest. Yeah, so good for them on that like that's the good part I, I took away from that was at least some of the stuff that you had to pay for you got anyways. And then here's this uh you know Here's your XP boost, I uh, I guess, and to help you get more stuff along the way, because you're not going to be able to if you if you don't have it. So they they gave them a little bit of that without giving the middle finger. But how long does that go on before they just say fuck it? Let's just yeah. until people stop buying shit. Like people, that's the thing when people keep on buying all those games and you know support all this 
then like I'm talking about like the loot box stuff, then they will not stop because why would they? If they can get right. away with and bad PR is also PR. Like let's just say that's the worst game ever. How can they do it? There is one, hmm, I need to see that and they buy that game. So and yeah. from everything I've heard, I mean, even when people were bitching about it, um, most of the problem was no, you didn't have to buy any of the stuff to beat the game, quote unquote, to finish the main mission. However, I think to get to the credits, you had to complete the the Shadow War portion of the game, which was like an extra 60 to 80 hours of grind. And they so they addressed that, which is, which is good. I'll, I'll give them props for that. I think it shouldn't have taken this long but whatever it's their game they can make it how they want um but i also want to point out that everybody said you know before the shadow war part you don't have to buy any of this shit you know nobody's making you buy it and you can play the game just fine without it so this is true i guess but also just the quality of the game everything i've read about this game talks about what a great fucking game it is it was really kind of sad that it got overshadowed by controversy of their microtransaction system i've got it um i know pascal uh just just downloaded it as well so i'm gonna be playing it um apparently with all the dlc now um so yeah i'll definitely be talking about that in the next couple weeks i like the first one but I didn't get very far because I just kind of lost interest. It was, it was, um, it was really cool, but it was just like I don't know where I'm going or why. I can just run around and kill tons of orcs. That's what I had. Yeah, yeah I, that's why I stopped. I kind of was like, man, it's kind of overwhelming now. Then all those orcs that I killed, they came back and strong. I'm like, man, this is stupid. <laughs> I do want to ask, uh, how is the nemesis system in that game? It's awesome, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm not spoiling anything, but. Uh, Hopefully not, but um, what they did, like sometimes doing like missions or something, um, or like just random side miss missions, I got to fight like one of my old nemesis from the first game. He's like, oh, I'm back, and I came from this hey. region and stuff. It was pretty epic, man, and he was really tough, but I finally got him down, and uh, yeah, it's great because... You know, it depends on the difficulty setting you have. They actually have, like, I think f six different difficulty settings. I have mine on normal. Um, you know, obviously the harder it is, the harder the nemesis system is, but um, it is less frustrating than the first one and more fun than the first one. They kind of improved on that. It's yes. not as frequent, but if it happens, it's kind of like, oh yeah, that's funny, you know. The Spider doesn't like the open world games, right? No, it's not really my thing. That one, just from what I looked, just from what I saw of it, it seemed very Assassin's Creed-y, um, just in a different setting, and the Assassin's Creed games got real old for me real fast. Yeah, I, I kind of felt like it was Assassin's Creed, uh, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Nugget, got any opinions on that? Nope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, we got any more news, Pasco? Um, yeah, um, so today, um, Sean Murray, the lead developer of uh, No Man's Sky, um, they released uh, their next trailer, which is the next patch, the next big patch content update that they bring. Um, will also be included in the Xbox version since uh, now it's going to launch next week um, on Xbox One as well. Next week? Yeah, and um, so what they add now is um so now finally you're not a random orb you can actually team up with friends drop in drop out you can actually meet each other through the galaxies through the planets there are portals if you don't know where you're at you can use portals to kind of you know navigate throughout the whole galaxy they have it's giant the whole universe i guess um you can uh, build everywhere like Literally, it used to be certain spots. Now you can build bases, cities, whatever you want. So people like on Reddit already like, you know, rubbing their hands, kind of like, oh, man, we're going to build a huge colony here, you know. Um, so pretty fun. Um, you know, more combat stuff. Um, you can do, be actually now a pirate, like space pirate. Um, you can, um, you can change freaking perspectives third or first person view since it's an extra character models now they have now um 
environment uh, stuff like you have like cities uh, like or structures underwater you have more wildlife underwater um planetary rings like a lot of like in space visual upgrades for example um you can race you know race cars on exocraft are they called uh, on the planets um a lot of like little details that are actually a lot more than what they sound they are um they alone bring a lot of com um content um but yeah so they added new clouds fog water system um sand i don't know just weird structures a lot more lore to the whole universe so for people who like no man's sky you know to you know this is a great update for people who never played it you know what they've been would, waiting for yeah that's actually what they're waiting for and they're still not done so that is just like that's what it's called next it's like okay this is the next one but they keep on doing what they're doing until their final vision is done well, i feel like you know, the same price point um well the 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 the, the pc and ps4 it's a up, free update um but i don't know about the xbox i think it's the same um like it's a launch for pc and uh xbox and if so then i would say for people who are not really interested just wait a little bit until it gets on sale for like 30 bucks with all the con now with the content that's in now easily 59 dollars yep yeah, totally acceptable if you pay 50 with the, all the content if you like space stuff that's in it and i'm not saying that because i'm biased i'm saying that really because i was frustrated in the beginning too but after everything they put in it with all the content updates, yes, this is still right now worth it. No Man's um, Sky is listed on GameStop's website, uh, brand new for Xbox One at forty nine ninety nine. Okay, forty nine ninety nine. Um, do I think it's worth it? Yes. Do people might want to spend only thirty on it? Okay. Hey, if you want it cheaper, get it on PC. This yeah, guy. it's like get th it on it's PC. thirty on PC now, isn't it? Yeah, get it on PC. Uh, I picked it. Up. I picked. I picked it up for twelve bucks on the PC during a sale. Um, I the cross platform. It, um, I I don't know actually. No, I don't think so. I think P. I mean, I don't know because it wasn't it was never on Xbox and PlayStation. We all know PlayStation has something against cross platform unless it's Rocket League, I guess. Um, then they do it with PC. Or, but don't you dare bring Xbox in. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, I don't know. I don't think so, but yeah, I have it on PC, PS4, and I will get it on Xbox. So if anybody has it in the near future, I know Wes will have it because I have it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. It's not everybody's kind of game and I understand you that. Want to build a city with me? Hit me up at P42C4. Right. Exactly. Uh, Join me. Join I have me some, I, I, have I have a, a I have a, sure. From the video. So yes. there were giant, uh, bipedal mechs in that video what do you know about those can i build that and drive it um there are those are called sentinels and that's what people are speculating right now that you can actually operate them because usually they're hostile and it looks like they walked with the players yeah. um, ba basically it's the space police of planetary stuff it's like in the lore and if you play the single player aspect of it which you can do with friends now too obviously you don't have to do it but it's called the atlas path um, it's like the single player campaign um, you kind of get to know a little bit more about the lore and um, it's basically they're kind of like the universe like it's like old technology and the more damage you do to the to the order to the structure of planets the the sentinels become more aggressive and get bigger and bigger obviously right like you have heavier uh, groups of enemies and so it also applies to space you know you have now space belts with giant fr uh, fr space freighter freighter you can actually you can actually move them now like you can actually you know operate them too which is amazing and you can build a base inside and, of it to and they're like capital ships right like a yes, giant yes uh, yes the head of a flotilla yes. kind mm -hmm. of thing yeah and and you know the one thing that i liked about this whole thing is that do you let's say you have like this one of those you know you go on the planet you know you you have like you know cool adventure there with your friends and you just go on your ship you know and fly up to the sky and boom like without a loading screen you're you're in space and then you automatically go in like a space battle and take out like big space freighters with yours and all your friends launch out of your big like capital ship kind of thing and they built new classes in it like exotic ships that look like alien technology it's like i said it's it's a lot for nerds it's like a game for nerds it's like what sci-fi means to me you know so i think it's kind of cool 
Um, and I'm I'm excited as you guys can probably tell. But yeah, I'm fucking stoked. I want to. <laughs> I just want to shoot some people out of my big thing. Yeah, you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We, we weren't talking about mm. big things. You and people everywhere. <laughs> okay, it's out. Yeah, it's so big. <laughs> I, I have a I have a depressing statistic for you though. You know the the 15 minute uh, video for Nathan Philly and his Nathan Drake that came out yesterday has. 1.9 million over 1.9 million views the poor trailer for this game this this new yeah. add-on has 276,000 views and it only came out today yeah and that that's was, fine that was, nobody cares 200, two, 210,000 of those was pascal yeah, yeah you know and people and people keep buying justin bieber but he's shit people buying call of duty and they have million views and that's not the greatest game so you know, it's a niche game. It's always will Nathan be, Fillion I, alone. I, I, I'm in that niche, and I love Nathan Fillion, so I'm we're, a Firefly. Or Pascal's great. like, why can't I like No Man's Sky and feel yeah, good exactly. about myself? Shut Leave up. me alone, exactly. Westman. Go play Asshole. some G-Nugget. <laughs> Being mean to the German. I have to. I spent $10 on it. <laughs> All right. I, I, I'm looking forward to playing it. I, I've always wanted to Sweet. play it. I just never have. So. And now we can play together. Hey, okay. What else we got? Space. Um, space. Actually, something you maybe uh, want to go into a little bit more, um, since you read probably more about it. The Rainbow Six Siege is now uh, instant or insta banning players yeah. that use hate speech. Yeah. Hey, hey, how many of you guys play Rainbow Six? They asked. Uh, I've me. dabbled. I've dabbled. All right. Yeah, I I've, would. Have, I, I played it once and hated it. I played it a little <laughs> bit and didn't like the grind. I didn't like the fact that I had to spend so long to unlock people that I already paid for. So I think it's a great game. I think it's the best. I think it's the best first-person sh arena shooter out there right now. Um, Competitive, yeah. But have you heard of Overwatch? Oh. Wow. No, I wreck on Overwatch. I, I wreck on <sighs> Overwatch so bad. I just kill everybody. It's not really competitive for me. Bronze <laughs> is my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but realistic shooter how's that um okay. so yeah you guys ever been in the lobby and just have tons of problems with uh kids in their mouths shouting all kinds oh, of yeah. uh you mean people who shouldn't be playing that game to begin with <laughs> that's not my point yeah not not, not listen, even you know what not even here. not even no. Because you adults were doing that stupid that. shit I too. Knew we're... where you were doing yeah. it. Yes, you were like, "What is the age limit? Mature." Well, you know what? Some of the adults on there that spew that bullshit out of their mouth are not mature enough to play that game. Amen. True. I'm. I'm... I, I. We are in cultural issues. <laughs> yeah. I, man, I'm. T I'm telling you, man. If you cause somebody fucking pain because of what you want to say, and you just do it on purpose. How fucking dare you? You're an asshole. Not you. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, that that chat, especially on PC, I've watched people stream it on PC, and the chat, whether it's the chat, the text chat, or the voice chat, is just loaded with racist stuff, homophobic stuff. Go after your mom. Go after your, you know, and, but just constantly, you know, some of the like some of the worst um, Call of Duty, Duty trolling videos I've ever seen aren't this bad. Yeah, and, and this, like, three or four times, then permaban? Fuck them. Dude, I think they're being too easy on them. Well, they they have said... I, I'll pull the article up. So they're they're starting to insta-ban these people. Um, they've got a new a, a new program that's going through and recognizing uh, some of this... some of the speech and some of the text, and they're hitting them with bans. Um, it says, after the first instance of breaching the game's code of conduct, players were reportedly banned for 27 minutes and were unable to play Siege at all, including custom games. Second and third offenses resulted in two-hour bans, with the third uh, leading to an inve official investigation that carries the risk of a perma ban. Um, they outlined Ubisoft's blog outlined ban periods lasting for up to two, seven, and fifteen days, with the possibility of a perma ban to follow, depending on severity. They also noted that it is not a strict progression of bans. It doesn't have to be the two, seven, or fifteen day ban. They can oh, get. A, they okay. can go straight yeah. to a perma ban if it's bad enough. Um, needs to be and people were pissed bitching about it on twitter and ubisoft came in and backed it up and said well you know what cleaning basically paraphrasing here cleaning up the uh the culture in this uh 
Yeah. In this because in this the online that makes game the is sometimes. is a tough job. And so they, they didn't back down at all. Pascal, what do you think? Well, I think it's good, but you know, for me it's like I told uh uh you all before before we started, um the I never like every time I experience let's say Battlefield I get like hate mail, you know, because I've been doing pretty well and then you know people are like oh you you hacker and they you know call me names and they do all this. For me personally, it was just fuel. It was like yay, you know, I'm gonna do even better next round to really piss him off. Um, you know, you know, I I said, Hey, you know, thanks, love you too, or something like that, you know, just something just to really like be killing them with kindness, I guess, and with actual like playing or continue playing and not getting trolled by them. Now I don't experience it and what Nugget for example said, like I never experienced it because I never played those like Counter Strike. I mean I played back in the day, but it wasn't as bad as it is now. Thank you, culture, I guess. But um the uh the whole like Rainbow Six, like the hate speech. I I don't know that. I don't. But I there's know a the difference l- between between sending you a message that you're a hacker. I I feel off that too. I've gotten to on Call of well, Duty games can, where can, they've sent me. But this is. Can you mute them? Whole new level. Uh, I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, well, I, I think I'm you just can. probably mute just, the chat and everything. But I mean, it, it's a fundamental difference. I shouldn't have to go in and mute that particular person who's out there yelling racial slurs into the mic or no, I get that. I, stuff. Like, I get that. But... that dude, get him the hell out of here. You can argue free speech if you want to later, but that might as well be violating the game's agreement. At like, the end of the day, is, you I... signed that agreement. At, yes, and you he doesn't. You as the person, he or she, don't own any of that that you're in the server and you signed up saying you wouldn't do shit like that. So. Right. I, and that, but you just see for me, like, like, again, like I've never experienced it to an extent, like, because I don't play those games. Like that's that's because I hear stories from you all, you know? So, but yeah, like with that treatment, I, I agree with Nugget though. I think if it's really that big of an issue that it's really like, you just get a lobby and hears names, racial slurs, and just like this whole toxic, incompetent, you know, small, tiny brained people in there, then yeah, be freaking harsh on them. IP ban them, you know, that they cannot make another account. Just IP ban them. I don't give a shit. I have. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, like, how it really feels because I don't play those games that, you know, they are toxic communities. So I don't really play those games. Yeah, I've watched. Um, I haven't had the issue that much when playing because I played in a party, you guys. Yeah. Um, and so, but I've watched a just a couple of people stream it. I think I watched you and, and uh, Blitzkill streaming it one night, Nugget. Um, and as soon as I got in there, you guys went to the lobby, and there's a guy in there just inward, 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 over and over and over again, yeah. just to say it, over and over and over again. And, like, it's cute. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's worse than the, it's about a like- hundred times worse than the people on the plane at the beginning of PUBG. I know you've heard that, yeah. Pascal. And, yeah. and I've went to another stream, and somebody, you know, somebody completely different, and it was the same way. And then I watched uh, another stream a couple weeks ago, and it was the same way. And these are wow. different, yeah. And I was just like blown away by it. And the thing is, I understand that like it doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me. They're not going to bother me. However, there are people that it does bother. And whether we think, well, maybe they should have thicker skin or whatever, doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is, Ubisoft. First of all, that person or you or I don't deserve to be subjected to that kind of shit just because we want to play their game. And Ubisoft doesn't want that to be the environment that people are having to trod through to try to play their game. So I I think it's great that they're fucking... I I don't have a... You know, I've got a real high tolerance for, you know, shit talking. Nobody's going to bother me. But if it was my product... I wouldn't want them tainting it with their shit. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's I'm just for me for me and that is my it might be a long shot because as you guys said already, like it's a complete different scenario and, and I get that now. But for me it's always like when people start doing stuff like this, will it stop there? Like hate speech or what is next? The behavior like let's say somebody you know like there's a camper or something you know and you 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 kill a camper in a game and then you know comes the famous teabag out that halo kind of made famous 
is that the next on the line? Oh no, you can't teabag now. Like yeah. that's my fear. Like it's a long shot, and I get it, and that doesn't have to be a super discussion. It's your, but it's, it's your German fear. upbringing. Yeah, you're you're, so, afraid, you're afraid that if they write something bad in the books, the next thing they're just gonna burn all the goddamn books. Yeah, right. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, First banning words in Rainbow. Next, the Gestapo. That's right. <laughs> Damn, we got a squeak. <laughs> Hypersensitive oh. to fascism. Yeah. Oh man, that made me shake my whole monitor laughing. Oh my god, it was good. So apparently, um, people hacking PUBG are being arrested. This has gone Good back. Hell yeah, it's gone back. Uh, back in April, I guess, one hundred and one hundred twenty people. No, in January, one hundred and twenty people were arrested for hacking the servers. Mostly all. A little from China. more to it, though. It sounds like. Yeah. Though. They're, like, they're, like, are they providing the hacks too? They are. They're making the okay. hacks and they're embedding them with Trojans yes. and oh. stealing people's information, yeah. which, yeah. like. I think they should get banned from the game for hacking the game or making hacks for the game or whatever you want to do with that. But once they cross that territory over into stealing people's information, yeah, yeah lock them up. I mean, it kind of sucks that they're getting locked up in China, and I hope they're not being tortured. But <laughs> I, I don't know like, if I could agree with that. Or... Population <laughs> control. I, mean. I hope they are getting tortured. Because <laughs> yeah. depending on the information that they get, you know, they, they, get, yeah. they get your good stuff, man. I don't know if you yeah. all have ever had it happen, but I've had my stuff taken before and it's like an act of congress to get it fixed especially yeah. when it's on your credit report oh, oh wow. yeah so it's uh good for them there is um there's a map that uh ign has pieced together talking about what we know so far about fallout 76 by looking at its map um they first started with a a picture of part of the map from the special edition package packaging advertisement and um, they pieced it together with some other pictures from like a movie, uh, The Making of Fallout 76. And. Yeah. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, oh here. I was, I was trying to get a puppy in the background there. Yeah, they're, they're wandering around. Um, and there's the Atomics for Peace promo video that showed part of a map. Um, anyway, they've pieced it all together and they've got a pretty large full picture of what the map's going to look like from like four or five different sources problem calm down doggy um and it just talks about the landmarks and stuff it's kind of an interesting let's see they've got the forest the i can't read that the savage divide the mire cranberry bog and ash heap but it talks about those are like the regions but it talks about some of the landmarks there um and I'm stoked for these landmarks. I, I think this is a buy for me just for the landmark. Got a baby. I got a dog. <laughs> um, she is mad. Dude, I don't know what the ash heap is. I don't know if that's something burned down. <laughs> and, then there's like the, and then like some of the. Coal, the coal miners who are not happy about like mountain or you know your green piece not a green piece <laughs> <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that anyway so people i don't think aren't... the miners are happy about yeah, green they... piece, though. <laughs> yeah. you know they don't want them cutting off the tops of the mountains but good that you mentioned it's supposed that, yeah. to be better if they cut it off because then they could grow stuff back on top of it than rather go in and take everything out but but anyways that, like i like Camden Park, I think we talked about it on maybe this episode one or two whenever they released this on E3. That's a park I've been to several times, so it was cool to see that on there. But now, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, they're going to, you know, Mothman. That's where he that originated from. Mothman. Mothman oh, boy. Have you ever seen that? No clue, oh, buddy. You should check that shit out with Richard fucking Greer. Wasn't that who was in that movie? <laughs> yes. But yeah, I you know from where my family grew up at and is Ironton, Ohio, and one of the things I'm most excited about because Camden Park is about a 20 minute, 30 minute drive from Ironton. Uh, Point Pleasant is, but not a know about Mothman, but not a prophecy around it. Uh, so 
to see like to be on that bridge where some of that stuff took place and where the Mothman comes down and I might have to run. But uh, to see that stuff, it is in the, you know, that's exciting to see. And I hope maybe my friends can come with me. We can cross the river into Ohio and we can go to Ironton, hang out a little bit. I can show them where I hunted as a kid or ride four wheelers. You know, stuff like that, I think is pretty neat. I Going mud. Yeah, I hope it's in there. There's definitely a Mothman uh, thing in there. I, I'm, oh, yeah, the yeah, Mothman it's... Museum. Yeah, Point Pleasant, West yeah. Virginia. <clears throat> Was she mad? Yeah. Right, I'm probably going to the... send you a link because I may have to run. That's fine. The last thing that I've got... Um... Oh, don't forget to get your, your free Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime games. They're giving away 30 free games. Tyranny, for... you can still pick that up. Yep. Oh, maybe not anymore. No, Amazon. you can. Can you still get it? I think, it dude, a, I think you can still get them and all. The 17th. No, they, they limited some of them to certain days. I, I know that, but I went through, um, I signed into my mom's account. She has Amazon Prime. And, um, you know, if you've got Amazon Prime... Get a free twist, <laughs> <sub. laughs> but I, I was able to. I was able to add every single one of those games that had been released all the way back to like uh, Metal you, Slug Three or whatever. Did you get Pillars of Eternity? Hmm, I don't know about that one. See, I think Pillars of Eternity was one of the ones that was only open for like two days. Hmm. And now I was he comes about to, to start it. going back to look and see if I can pick it up. I wonder if they do it like other. Uh, People do that, other companies, at the end of one of the, like, the last day. It's like, oh, here are all the games you missed. I mean, Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if they do that. For people who are picking up right now, for example, you know. Yeah, it does yeah. say Pillars of Eternity Definitive Edition is only July 2nd through 4th. That's, I got that. Residents of Fort Smith, Arkansas can finally kick off their summer. That's our weird and wacky news. Oh, okay, okay. Just in case I got to run. I right. don't know what happened there. Um, so there's, there's the Amazon prime free games. And the last thing I had was about, uh, what is going on with my, got to at the mute or going to have to edit this a little bit. Um, here we go guys. I don't know what you're looking for. Yeah. yeah me the Taku article, <clears throat> popular Twitch streamers temporarily banned for playing copyrighted music. Um, this is a little bit old, but I didn't find out about it until, uh, day before yesterday. Uh, but back in late June, more than 10 popular Twitch streamers tried to kick off their streams to find a nasty surprise waiting for them. They'd been, they'd been kicked off Twitch for 24 hours. The reason they played copyrighted music during their streams. Um, I don't, I'm not going to name the names, uh, the article does, but here's the thing. For as long as Twitch has been around, you've been able to play whatever you want, and they didn't really care. Then they started policing it a little bit and muting the the replays, the the VODs, the video on demands. Uh, they'll mute the copyrighted music as it's detected by their algorithm program thing, um, you know, so that if it is watched again, it'll be muted um, to protect to protect Twitch, um, and then you can no longer you won't be able to like reuse that content to make their videos that are copywritten blah 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 the point is they've never really had any problems with uh emca takedowns yeah now they're starting to have problems with it 10 people got banned for 24 hours um and apparently i, I listened to a a podcast day before yesterday um, with a couple of lawyers, one of them actually works for Pretzel. I showed you that the other day. He's the counsel for Pretzel. The other one is just a. He's not. He's not in this, but he he's a lawyer. Um, he's a copyright lawyer, I think. Anyway, um, they talked about copyright and all the different things you can do to get in trouble and not get in trouble. And basically, the entire thing of streaming any video game is, is if they wanted to enforce it, completely illegal. But um, word to the wise is uh, start using some, some Twitch safe to broadcast music like that. And this is not a sponsored thing. Like Pretzel offers... Um, 
some other people offer it because the bands are coming, the mutes are coming, and you don't want to find yourself on the mm-hmm. on the end of it because they're talking a hundred and fifty thousand dollar lawsuit per use if they decide to do so per use of the song. So, I will say there is one thing in the article that bugged me. There's just one line in there, and it was from uh, the guy. Yeah, it was from Keemstar, who was talking to the tweeting out, blasting people on Twitter or whatever. And he specifically said he thought they hit big streamers by accident. That bugs me because I think something like that, something DMCA takedowns and people getting prosecuted for that sort of stuff, that should be blanket. That shouldn't be, oh, you bring lots of viewers into Twitch? Well, we're not going to worry about it with you. Because here's the thing. Um, it and they're still trying to figure out how they want to handle it. They're not going to handle it bl- blanketly like that. However, um, apparently, okay, there's an artist, and I've seen pictures of her. I've never heard her music, but Cardi B, uh, she looks like her art. Her music sucks, but <laughs> I, I don't know for sure. I couldn't say, but um, apparently, her record label has had sponsored streams where they have paid streamers to play her music and picture the out al- feature the album uh, artwork in the corner of their screen so it's still kind of the wild west but the record labels are starting to take interest they okay. realize that there's money people are making big money doing this and they're going to want their cut of it so it's it's not going to be a free for all for much longer i'm trying to to work on switching over to to pretzel more the Twitch. Twitch has their own music service, their own music library um, that was safe, was safe to use, but apparently Twitch didn't do a good job of keeping up the licenses on a lot of the songs. So even that is not um, listed anymore as really safe to use. So uh, here's here's a question I've always had. If you buy a CD, you sort of own rights to that music. No. no? For personal use. You you own okay, a but license. It's my personal channel. You own you own I'm a personally using. Hold it. on. I can explain <laughs> that. That's what this podcast okay. that I that I listened to was about. You right. purchase a license to listen to the music for personal use. There are separate licenses for performance, um, which would be what you would be doing is broadcasting it to other people would be a performance um same as you can't technically you can't buy like if you own a club you can't go and buy the cnc music factory cd and play it in the club you gotta buy a license to actually play that shit um there's also a separate license it's about it's it's called like a sequence license where it is putting not only broadcasting the music or performance, but it's putting it to video in some sort of sequence. You have to have both those licenses um, from whoever owns the rights to the music, which oftentimes isn't even the artist that did it, um, to be able to say, hey, and and then it's not usually not even a uh, non-revocable license. So you could have a license to do it, and at some point in time, even after you've paid for it, they could revoke that license. And, uh, hell, Grand Theft Auto, perfect example. Grand Theft Auto 4, a couple of, a couple of months ago, had a huge update. They had to do a patch. They had to take a shit ton of songs out of their game. This game has been around since, what, 2007? 2006? It's, it's popularity has come and gone. Nobody, I mean, people still play it, but Nobody would have thought that their licensing for a bunch of their songs is expired and they made them patch the game to take the songs out. They're removing songs from a 10 year old game because the license expired. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I like to run in the gray area. So, what if I take that music and slow it down by like a certain speed or speed it up a certain speed to where it's barely noticeable? is nightcore <laughs> you're you're, you're um, <laughs> it's still it's it's still the, the work you may be Damn. creating a derivative from that original work but that 
copyright now, is still Now, what if owned. Sasquatch sits down and learns how to play all the instruments and the music and then plays a cover of it and then plays that cover? And the royalties. He theoretically, still royalties. theoretically they, he doesn't have a, a right to broadcast that piece of work. No, it's or to not perform, his. To, to perform that piece of work. Well, there goes my song we were working on. Yes, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's the things that that they're willing to go after, you know. They're gonna go after, and that's why he said hit big streamers by accident, um, because some of them are probably they're probably letting it go because they're getting some some type of uh, you know advertisement or exposure out of it, and they're gonna start working. I guarantee you, they're gonna start working with people to make money, but they're also gonna start taking shit down so that. You can't make money unless they are making money too. They're gonna start dipping into the pockets of these people, um, and I, you know I guess they should if they're gonna use it. But you know, know what I have to say about that? Motherfuckers can't take that shit to the grave. Get the fuck over it. Pretty You're much. already million yep. gazillionaires. Public domain. Jesus Public Christ. Public domain. Public domain. Usually, unless it's um, there, there are different levels of it, but public domain. A, a work will be like uncopyrighted and you can use it for anything you want um, after the artist 70 years after the copyright holder dies. 50 or 70. I so, think it's 70. It's a, it's a long ass yeah. time. So like, oh, there's another thing. Reading books online. You don't have the right, like if somebody wants to put up some nice Harry Potter music that's copywritten and read the Harry Potter books on Twitch because apparently reading books is becoming a big thing on Twitch. Nope. That's performing that work of art or work of whatever, that intellectual property, and that's just a subject of copyright is playing the music. Unless it's a book that's in the public domain, like, you know, maybe Mark Twain oh, or hold Shakespeare. It. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. You said it's a form of art. Video games are a form of art, so we cannot, a form of art, so we cannot play video games anymore and stream it because it's the same thing as reading a book. You... Oh, it's true. It's true. No, yeah. That's streaming, true. streaming a video game. How far will they go? Streaming a video <laughs> game <laughs> is if they wanted you, if they wanted to hit you with a DCMA, whatever, takedown, they could. Yeah. It's... Were they talking about that in that article? They mentioned Persona 5. Um, I think they were hitting... The developer of Persona 5 went after some people who were streaming it. Wow. That's and ridiculous. Again, Nintendo in the past has go? taken down YouTube videos of people playing their game. Yes. Now they're starting to, to come around. But most video game companies don't care. And they even talked about um, video game... Like the music inside a video game. If you have... Um, Kanye West is on the soundtrack to a, to a uh, fucking Grand Theft Auto. And you're rolling down the street doing a drive-by in GTA, and Kanye West comes on the radio, there's a good chance that that's going to get muted in your VOD. And they could issue a, if it doesn't, they'll issue, they could issue a, a takedown. And they would have to take that video down. Um, however, like, music that is originally written for the game usually is... They hire the developer of the game hires an artist to come in and create the music. That's why a lot of times, like original music, even though it's copywritten, just the same as Kanye West is, they'll let that go just like they <laughs> just like they um they'll let that go just like they will letting you play a game. But sometimes say you've got a, a sports game, 2K. 2K sports games, when you play stream them from the ps4 maybe from the xbox i don't know if you stream directly from a console it is written into the code that say the wrestling game no, no entrance music is played while you're streaming no commentary it's just gameplay sound effects hmm. does a copyright that so, could make for an interesting game well <laughs> <laughs> Sucks, but that's that's the kind of things that they're putting in. So I, I'm telling you, the music takedowns to Twitch are finally coming. It's gonna suck. Hell no, Twitch isn't dying, Lizzo. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we like lost Ulrich and we fighting Napster. 
that's how it feels. It's like it's it's the same remember. type thing, but but there's no but there's no fight, you know. Um, there's no there's no defense to it, and it's not Twitch's responsibility to make sure that the shit's not on there. It's the broadcaster. Ultimately, the broadcaster is responsible. For whatever they choose to do, yeah. and you know, we're all going to jail, guys. Is what I'm saying. No. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's all right. together. So get the soap ready. That's all <laughs> I've got. But I hear, I hear, Sasquatch Nuggets got some weird ass news out of his neck of the wood. It doesn't involve food this time. So, in the weird, wacky world of Sasquatch Nugget, I have found an article about. Oh, sorry, I was reading something else there. So. <laughs> Weird laws. Does everybody know like a weird law of your area that you've just heard and it's just the weirdest shit ever? Like, I mean, I there has that some laws up. about not like taking baths on Sundays or some shit. Yeah, I heard about that too. <laughs> so it's it's that. It is that. Like I the one here in Kentucky that I always remember growing up, and Good it's still sidewalk. in effect. That's Canada, I believe. It's still in effect today that you cannot Hi gamer chick. Fix your titty. Hey! Yeah, yeah. I can see you fix your titty. Uh, Rewind! <laughs> right, clip that shit. I missed it. You can... <laughs> clip. It hits, I didn't think of it. <laughs> Spider said, clip that shit, I didn't get to see it. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, oh. Um... In Kentucky, back on subject. Bye, Titty. You cannot carry an ice cream cone in your back pocket. It is against the law. Oh, boy. <laughs> so back in the day, Guilty. when you walked up to a bar or a hotel at your local watering hole, you put an ice cream cone in your back pocket, and other people's horses would follow you. And so you weren't stealing their horse right out because it followed you. Ah, okay. So... Going into this, somebody noticed in Fort Smith, Arkansas, that in 1953, you were not allowed to dance because it was a health concern, the government decided. And I just huh. thought it interesting that they are just now bringing it back up that Fort Smith, Arkansas people, you are now free to dance. Yeah. So it talks about like the movie Footloose, you know, how you couldn't in Footloose you couldn't dance. Kevin Bacon, the most hated actor in the world. Best actor. <laughs> so I just wanted to see what your guys' thoughts were on um, any other laws that you've ever heard of that. I mean, they couldn't dance. Did even did the officers knew about that law though? Like the law you know, I don't I don't think anybody does. It's just there. It's oh, old. So they're just like forgotten, forgotten yeah. laws kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, yeah, I don't the law. I don't, no I, longer in effect. Clean those books out. <laughs> yeah. Wow. They do. You, you need to go back. Because what if, what if somebody went, how far would somebody go? You, you become a famous streamer. Somebody going down the street and they see you carrying around ice cream cone in your back pocket. Take him to jail. Bam. Citizen's law. arrest. That's right. Fuck him. <laughs> exactly. Citizen <laughs> arrest. Stupid ass <laughs> law. <Don't fall>. <laughs> you have an ice cream cone in the back. <laughs> you gotta thrust your pelvis out, dancing too much. <laughs> I you crushed my waffle cone. cone. <laughs> <laughs> would never... so that's all I had. But I think you guys need to let us know what different laws are just out of date in your area. I'd like to like to read that. I'll bring some yeah, next definitely. week. Yeah, that's that's definitely the challenge for the week. <laughs> all right, so that's all I got. Things. It didn't involve food this time. I promised I would try to get away from food because it seems the fatter I get, the more food I want to read about and the weird stuff about it. So it's a you know. food news diet. All right, cool. No <laughs> hot dog contest this time. All right, guys. Well, if nobody else has anything, I have one thing real quick. One before thing. we go, one thing. Uh, Big Lebowski twenty year anniversary is coming up in August, and if mm -hmm. you'd like to, you can go see that in the theater on the fifth and the eighth of August. Check theaters around you. Fifth and um, the eighth is is there a hidden thing there? Why the fifth uh, and the eighth? No, not really. They've I, I mean I'm not sure about this in particular, but there's been re releases of movies coming out, and they only air for two days. Uh, a bunch oh, okay. of the Studio Ghibli 
uh, library was doing that over the summer. They would air the subtitles one day, dubs the other day, and that was it. And I heard okay. the Big Lebowski's doing it, and I'm real excited, and I'm probably going to buy my tickets tomorrow. Nice. Awesome. Pascal? Nope, I'm done. All right, Nugget, you're done? I'm done. I'm done. Nugget All out. right, guys. Well, I guess uh, we're done. Side Quest Podcast is over. Get the hell out of here. Why are you still here? See you guys next week, Tuesday, I heart you. around 1030. <laughs> right here. Bye, guys. <laughs> I gotta hit the button.